Hello, this is Mr. Kinanola, and I'm going to help you find the surface area of a sphere when they give us the circumference of a great circle uh, of a sphere when it's 338 pi meters. So, uh, first thing is, what's a great circle? So the great circle, here's a sphere. The great circle is, you can think of it as the equator of the sphere. So the distance around uh the sphere. So if you went from one side or uh, the right there or there. So uh, that's just, that's the great circle of the sphere or the circumference. So we need two formulas. Uh, we need the formula for the circumference of a circle and the surface area of a sphere. So circumference, if you guys remember, is C is equal to 2 pi radius and surface area of a sphere is surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared. That means four circles would cover up this entire surface of the sphere. All right, so uh, we have the circumference of the great circle, which is 338 pi meters. So all we're going to do is plug that into here. So 338 pi is equal to 2 pi r. And we want to get the radius from this, uh, this value right here. Get the radius out of that so we can use it to find the surface area and plug it into there. So we have 338 pi is equal to 2 times pi times r. Opposite of multiplication is division. And we want to isolate the r. So we're going to divide both sides by 2 and the pi. Here and here, these 2's cancel each other out. The pi's cancel each other out. These pi's cancel each other out. And let's use our calculator. 338 divided by 2 is 169. So our radius is 169. So uh, now we're going to use this and plug it into here to find the surface area of this sphere. Radius is 169, so we'll just plug that in. 4 pi times 169 squared. Uh, and remember, order of operations, we, uh, it's parentheses, no parentheses, exponents. We have an exponent, so let's uh, take our 169 and square it which is uh, 28,561. So we have 4 pi times 28,561. We're going to multiply that. We're going to multiply that by 4, which is this gigantic number. So our final answer would be 114,244 pi meters squared surface area is how many squares can fit so what we did again as a quick recap let's zoom back out um we use the circumference the form for circumference and set it equal to the actual circumference of the great circle and we got the radius from that and we took the radius and uh, plugged it into the formula for surface area and we've got the surface area right there so there you go good job have a good day